find yourself deeply absorbed in just doing something, whether it is making an ethics model or, or, or painting a picture, whatever it is, see if you can see that the really moving part of the experience is when you are so absorbed with it that for a moment you lose all sense of yourself. The other thing is, because we feel so unsettled if we did have the space, we need distraction to draw us out of how it actually feels. So the point is, one thing is to, to create the space by bringing less into our lives so that we have more space to enter into things. But the other thing is to settle ourselves enough so that we can actually enjoy being there in the experience. Because all the stress and agitation and tension that we feel, the shaking in the heart and the, and the, the, the tension in our nerves from being constantly overstimulated means that we constantly need to be distracted from that. When you are really attuned to what's going on, life is utterly exquisite. It's extraordinary. Everywhere you look, it's extraordinary. But because we, it's, it's far more extraordinary than it just looks. Do you understand? The real depth of it comes from how we feel when we enter into it. And that's what makes it exquisite. And that capacity to feel what we're a part of. As that stillness comes when you're utterly immersed in what you're doing. That your mind is not arising to disturb what? Mm. The stillness of the heart. Mm. Yeah. So that we say that if you want to know stillness, move mm. until you're unmoved by it. Even if you don't do that, find things to do in your life that engage you completely for more and more, for, for sustained periods, so that our ability to be there, just be there, starts to return.